everyone, I'm Sabrina Fairchild and this is Body Sculpting's Side Body Workout. For today's workout, you might want to have some type of step or chair that you can move up and down on. And also two weights. You can have a heavier and a lighter weight if you have dumbbells. Or I have these water jugs behind me. One is totally full at about nine pounds and the other is half full at about four and a half or five pounds. I also have a heavier and a lighter dumbbell. And lastly, if you have some type of resistance band around the house or even a t-shirt or a bathrobe uh, tie that you can put around your legs for some type of stretchy material. All right, so gather what you need and let's begin. All right, take your place. Find the feet nice and neutral. Roll the shoulders back and down. Take a breath up. Blow it out. Again. One more time. Deep breath up. And out. Yeah, good. All right, roll the shoulders. Up and around. Two more. One more. Press this spine going down. Roll it up. And down. One, two, and up. Three, and four. Press that flat back down. Exhale up. Flat back down. And bring it up. Good. Now, a little side stretch. Back and forth. Four more. And reach. Return. Reach. Return. Two more. Good job. Now, we're going to squat down and up. The basic squat. Four more, three, two, and one. Now I'm just gonna straddle my bench just for the sake of space. But as you squat, elevate one leg and then the other to the side. You wanna warm up the side hip muscles. And lift, down and up, down and up. Now pulse, weight is in your heels, toes up in your shoes. Now see if you can hold that squat. Arms up, press down, up, press down. You can move your arms through water. Good. Up, press down, up, press down. Two more. One more. Very good. Stand up tall. Roll the shoulders a few times. Four, three, two, and one. Now press open and close. Elbow slightly off the rib cage. This is for the rotator cuff system of the shoulder. We have an exercise today for that area. One more. Good. Now, take one foot, put it on top of your bench or chair, and you're going to rotate the leg in and out. Turn the heel as well, so it pivots from the hip socket. Good. So loosen me up through the outer hip. One more time. Change side. Press out and in. Make sure you pivot from the heel all the way to the top of that femur bone. Out and in. Two more. One more. Now we're going to put it together. You're going to squat with the side bend. Looks like this. We're going to squat, side bend, center, reverse, and center. Good. Breathe wherever it's comfortable. One more time. Good work. Side and center with a reach. Now practice pulling everything in, keeping the knees soft and the tailbone tucked under. Squeeze to the side of your body. Those are your oblique muscles working for you here. Now pulse for three on one side. Pulse. Two. Three. Come back. Neutral. Switch. Pulse. Two. Three. Back to neutral. Switch it. Pulse. Two. Three. Back to neutral. One more. Pulse it. Good job. Hands on hips. Circle. First direction. Keep the knees softly bent. Nice work. And that 
that concludes our warm-up. So in our first round, we're going to be using the bench or chair that you have, and you're going to do a, a step up with a side leg raise. So it's going to look like plant your foot on the bench, lift, side raise, and bring it back down. So you're just going to continue to do that. Okay, step up and down. Good. Keep the arms loose. Two more. Now change the rhythm. Three, two, one, step down. Pulse it. Three, two, one, step down. Pulse it. Three, two, one. Again, pulse it. Three, two, one. And back to single. Step and lift. We're through it. This will help warm you up a little bit further and get that heart rate up too. Four, good. Keep the toe forward and the knee forward. Two more singles. Now three pulses, let's go. One, two, three, step down. And if you're not doing three, that's okay. You get two in there, just do two. Whatever works. Gluteus medius, side of your hip. Last time, change is coming. Yeah, all right. We're gonna do lateral raises on the arms but one arm at a time. So, grab both your weights, the heavy and the light. We're gonna start with the heavier weight. Soft knees, tuck the tailbone under, belly in. Same side of the body, raise the arm up and down, up and down. So we're starting heavy, and we're gonna work our way down to lighter. We would call this a drop set. Four, three, two, one. Set the heavy one down, come up with the light one. Four, three, two, begin. It's up and down, up and down. Exhale it, inhale. Looking good. a little bit of fatigue. Two more. Nice work. Set that down. Going back to your leg work. Same leg. Then we'll switch sides of the body. You ready? Plant that foot on that bench. Let's go. Step, lift, bring it down. Kick that foot out. Knee forward, toe forward. Exhale every time. Keep lifting. Now, repeat for three. One, two, three, step it down. Lift up, two, three, step it down and lift it up. Think of lifting your heel and almost pointing your big toe inward. That'll keep you true. Singles, eight, and down. Seven, looking good. Six, five, four, Two. Going for one more round of repeater. Go up three. Three. Two. One. Step down. Do it again. Three. Two. One. You can do it two more times. Three. Two. One. Last time. Woo! Good work. Let's get ready for lateral races. Knees are soft. Again, tuck under. Zip everything up. Heavy set. Out. Down. Elbow slightly soft. We're going to 12. Run five. Six. You got this. Seven. Woo. Only four more. Then we pick up that lighter weight. Four. Three. Keep the wrist joint nice and neutral. And one. Beautiful. Change your weight out. Reset the body. Tuck it under. Let's go. Run four so far. You got eight more to go. Eight. Every rep gets a breath. You want to exhale. Five. Almost there. Four. Three. Two. And one. Awesome job. Place your weights on the other side of the bench. 
and we're gonna switch sides. Grab a sip of water. So we did two rounds. We're going again, but new side. Okay, so you ready? Plant that foot on the center of the bench, step up, single, and back down. It's up and down. It is more beneficial to step up and off the bench than just to keep your foot up there the whole time, okay? And 
line. Awesome. All right, please grab some water. Okay. Shut up and sit down. <laughs> not really. We're not going to sit down yet, but we're close to it. So, purposely pick up your heavy and your light weight. We're going to do one round of side bends, switching the heavy with the light in a moment. So this is much more like real life, right? We're not always carrying things that are even, so we have a heavy and a light. Ready? Shoulders back, side bend. This down and over. Down, center, switch. Down, center, side. Just taking it back and forth. Keeping your shoulders lined up with those hips. Think of a, a nice line from center of ear to shoulder to hip joint to center of knee and even ankle. Side, center, side. These are your oblique muscles. You got a muscle group in there, serratus anterior. Helps out with the side work. Four, three, we're gonna switch out the weight. In two more, and one. Okay, pause. Pick up your lighter weight with the other side, switch it out. Shoulders back and down. Here we go, side to side. Down, up, side. Over, center, side. Keep pulling that belly button to that spine. Keep those knees softly bent, tailbone tucked under. Little breath every time you bend. So that little space between your bottom rib and your hip. That's where you get a crunch in there. Woo. Go for it. Eight. Seven. You got this. Six. High reps here, five, you're almost there, four, three, almost there, two, and one. Love it, okay, set those to the side. Here's where you're gonna need your stretchy material. So either some type of resistance band, take a t-shirt, the terry cloth belt off your robe, whatever you have, okay? We're also gonna move your step, out of the way, so you have more space. Take whatever you got, wrap it around your legs. I don't actually tie this in a knot, I just crisscross it and then I hold it, okay? Feet are close, legs closed, shoulders back and down. Two steps to the side, one, two, switch, two. Taking it back and forth, keep the knees soft, lateral steps or side to sides. Good work, good work. These are the type of exercises a lot of people will not do on their own. So when we work the smaller muscles, it helps us overall. Yeah, notice we did very few squats today. Squats work your major muscles. Good for a warm up and overall strength. But these get those little core muscles mentioned gluteus medius, there's also tensor fascia lata, and that one's connected to your IT band. I'm not counting reps, we're just going for it. I want you to feel this. Last round, over to one side and back. Yeah, all right, unwrap it. Now, you're gonna need to get down on the floor for the next two exercises. So I'm gonna unwrap my mat here so I get a little bit more patty. What we're doing on the floor is a side plank um, hip dip. Option one, you're on, everybody's on their elbow, okay? Elbow under shoulder. Option one, legs are straight, shoulders back and down, and you lift your hips up and tap them down. Option two, fold your knees and do it with knees bent. 12 on each side of the body. Ready? Begin. Up, touch down. Two, touch. Three, touch. Four, touch. Good. Five, touch. Six, touch. Seven, touch. Eight, you got four more. One, two, three, 
and four. Now don't go anywhere. Find your lighter weight. I'm not going to switch to dumbbells just because I have them. Elbow under shoulder, knees bent. You're going to bring your weight in your hand. Elbow is not on your ribs. Float it. Shoulders back. Come up and down. Open the door, close the door. Open the door, close the door. This is for the rotator cuff muscles in the shoulder girdle. Lots of people have injured rotator cuff muscles. And if you don't take care of them, it can lead to some chronic issues, okay? Let's go four more, three more, two more, one more. Set that to the side, switch your body, elbow under shoulder, either straight legs or folded knees, hip dips for 12. Lift it up, hand on your hip, let's begin. It's down, up, down, two, down, three, four, five, six, keep zipping it up, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve, nice, bend the knees, grab your lighter weight, float the elbow up off the rib, lift tall, here we go, up, down, Three, two, one. Set that down. Coming back up with your band or stretching material. All ready? Here we go. Okay, get everything all neat and tidy. Wrap it around your legs when they're close together. Crisscross it. That's all you need to do. You don't have to tighten the knot. Hold on to it, shoulders back and down. This time, we're gonna go tick tock, tick tock. Yeah, just kick it out, toe forward, knee forward. So here we have a chance to do some rhythm changes. These are your singles. Four more, three, two, one, two count. Up, up, down, down, same leg. Up, up, down, down. So half, hold, half and in. Up, up, down, down. Not so high that you fall over. You should not need to hold on to, to balance on this, okay? Ready? Switch legs. Up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, touch. Up, up, down, touch. Good. Up, up, down, touch. Four. Three. Two, uh-huh, and one. Back to singles, kick it out, kick it out. Shoulders down, hold on firmly all the way through your palms so the wrist joint stays neutral. Yeah, four, three, two. Now we're just gonna finish with a pulsing. Pulse, pulse, just pulse it up. Four, three, two, and one. Switching sides, shoulders back, reset, don't be in a hurry. Other foot, float it up and pull. Four, three, two, and one. Set it down, unwrap, you're done with the band. Go back on the floor for the hip dip. Lie it down. Knees folded or legs straight. Elbow right up under that shoulder. Lift the ribs away from the floor. I'm gonna do it with these bad this time. Here we go. Up, down, one. Up, down, two. Up, down, three. You're working your latissimus dorsi here, your straightest anterior. Those are the muscles that are supporting you. You're also working those obliques. You got four more. Three, two, and one. Don't go anywhere. Pick up your lighter weight. Remember, if the elbow is on your rib cage when you do this, you're blocking blood flow. Float it up. From there, it's down, up, down, up, down, up. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 
12. Yeah. Switch sides. Bent feet or a straight leg. Elbow under shoulder. Hips up. Touch. Down. One. Down. Two. Lift. Halfway there. Seven. Eight. Nine. You got this. Ten. Eleven. And twelve. Stay put. Grab your weight. Float the elbow off the ribs. Stay up. Rotation. Open the door. Close the door. Two. Three. Four. Good. Five. Six. This is external rotation. Nine. Three more. Ten. Eleven. And twelve. Woo! Alright. We're done with that weight. Grab some water. Everything else on the floor still. And this gets us a little bit more into just that core region, okay? So we're gonna do three exercises before we switch sides. Got it? So the first I would do, and unless you're used to this, it's called a half get up. You can see there's no weight or your lightest weight. So here it is with no weight. You lay on your back. You have one arm up and that leg straight. The other hand is helping. I'm gonna sit up right there and back down. So it's good for your core and it's single sided. Sit up and back down. All right? If you're gonna hold a weight, wrist, elbow, shoulder, alignment the entire time. No bending, full extension the whole time. We're doing five of them. Ready? Let's go. Bend, lift, roll it down. Bend, lift up, roll it down. If you can't get all the way up, that's okay. Exhale. One more. Nice. Now, what you're gonna do is lay on your side, knees toward me, bottom hand behind your head. Top arm with the weight is gonna touch the floor behind you. Roll onto your elbow, pivot, and back down. Face the ceiling, face me. Face the ceiling, face me. Exhale as you push up. Good. One more. Excellent. Set the weight right in front of your chest. You can set your head all the way down, or you can come up on your elbow. This last one is for your hips. Knees bent. Take the top leg. Go knee in front, toe and back. Knee in front, toe and back. Keep everything nice and open. Good. Your whole shoulder girdle is holding you up right now. But this is excellent. We just did a rotator cuff for the shoulder. This is rotators of the hip. Yes. When you keep them strong, the little tiny muscles in there, you're going to be better at squats and lunges too. Four, three, two, and one. Love it. Okay, now you can switch sides. Half get up. So, it's going to be the opposite side, correct? That's the long leg. Your bent knee is the helper foot. And your free arm is the helper arm. Put it on the floor. Head down. Remember, wrist, elbow, shoulder, alignment is pure. Tense up the abs. We're gonna sit halfway up, use your elbow. The rest of the way, use your hand, elbow, head. Go to your elbow, push through your hand on the floor, and bring it back down. Do not bend that top elbow, keep it straight. Ready? Elbow, palm, look up. Two more, elbow to palm, bring it down. One more, elbow to palm, and bring it down. Now bend both knees, drop them to the side, and touch the floor behind. Your other hand is under your head. All right, we're gonna lift up, rotate toward me, and back down, touch the elbow. Exhale up, inhale down. Exhale up, inhale down. Exhale up, inhale down, three more. I'm not doing high reps here. 
Just want to introduce these exercises. Last one. Because they're a little bit different, okay? Set your weight in front. Either head on your arm or up on the elbow. Both knees bent. Top leg. Touch the knee. Touch the toe. I call it a half moon. Touch the knee. Touch the toe. I can tell by the music that it's almost time to stretch. So obviously, I just took you through one round of this last three exercises. So you can always pause the tape and do a second round, which I definitely recommend. Four, and three, two, and one. Nice. Now, pivot onto your hands and knees. You're going to put your hips to one side and your arms to the other Stretching just that whole side right there. Inhale, center, and exhale, switch. Other side. Back to center, and just kind of walk your hands in, roll it up, and then facing me. Bring one arm up, relax that shoulder, and bend sideways. So you're looking to stretch that whole side of the body there. <sighs> Inhale to neutral, exhale it down. Bring the other arm up, and exhale side bending. So normally when I'm teaching in person, we would have more like 45 or 50 minutes to do a routine. So what that means is that we would be doing the exercises um, two times minimum and oftentimes three, or we'd be doing more exercises. So feel free to, anytime you're doing a YouTube video, um, stop and pause, do an extra round. Um, I recommend that. So. Also, before you work out, make sure that you drink about 16 ounces of water in one to two hours before you train. Clasp your hands behind, lift up, keep your gaze forward. And then after you train, you also want to continue fluids. And it's a really good idea, especially with resistance training, that about a half hour after you train, you're eating something with some protein for muscle recovery and some healthy fibrous carbohydrates vegetables, salad, maybe a yam or something like that. Just a nice meal to help your body recover. Okay, to side the hips, we're gonna stand up. If you take one foot behind the other, okay, push the hip out. So if your left leg is behind, push your left hip out. And then take your torso, lean a little bit forward, just kind of working the stretch around the outside of that hip. And then come to up and lean a little bit back. Feel more in the front and center. Switch it out. Put your other foot behind. Soft knees. Push the hip out. Good. And now just lean the hips a little back and your torso a little bit forward. And then center and then slightly reversed. Feel a little more on the front edge. And I got one final stretch for you, which is one of my favorites. And you can sit down to do this one. I'm just gonna sit on the bench to do this one. So this stretch is called the figure four, and uh, it stretches the glutes, okay? The sides of the glutes. So if you take one foot, place it on your thigh, and then bend the bottom knee. If you don't feel any stretch down here in the side of your thigh or glute, lean forward. <laughs> when you lean forward, make sure you're not pulling or tugging or getting bad posture. Stay upright, lean your whole spine forward, and you'll find your stretch, okay? Release, and change legs, other side. Just kind of hug it there, lean a little bit into it. Very good. And release. All right, everybody, excellent job. Thank you so much, and if you're watching this on YouTube, Please like the video and subscribe, okay? That's super helpful for me. Have a wonderful day. Bye now.